Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video on how to style your hair for school or just everyday life and I do most of these hairstyles like every week. I sometimes try to change it up and do something a little different and sorry if the light is reflecting off my glasses. I've but the first hairstyle that I usually do is my natural hair. Your natural hair is very pretty and why not just show it off? Doesn't matter if you have naturally straight hair, naturally wavy, naturally curly. Your hair is beautiful, so just let the natural do do the job. The second look that I like to do often, I'm gonna take off my glasses real quick because I have to mess with my hair. The second look that I do very often is I just take a hair tie and I pull up from my ears and grab my hair. And this is kind of like a half up half down Ariana Grande look kind of because it is higher than the normal half up half down look and once I get that to Emily perfection I just tie it off and I don't want to take a while hold on okay and then I just pull it to tight for extra volume. Now I put my glasses on to actually see what it looks like. Okay, that is actually kind of low. I usually have it up low. Yeah, there we go. I like the volume. The more volume, the better. And I just love this look. Now, from this look, I'm going to go into my next look, which is the half up, half down bun. And I originally saw this last summer in, I think it was Endless Love, where the really pretty blonde girl had her hair in a little half up half down bohemian bun looking thing and I really liked it. Oh, I'm just gonna take this down real quick. Ow. Ah! Okay. Wow. See, look at that natural little wave there. Okay. So, next thing is you are going to do basically the same thing you did before and so just do what I told you to do before pull up from the ears just comb it out with your fingers unless you want to put some bumps in it which is cool the messier the better and when you have this you're just going to tie it around your finger and then just loop it and loop it until you have no excess hair flying around this might be a little harder if your hair is thinner, but you can always tease it first. And... Now where were we? Okay, so you're just going to tie this off. And pull it a little so it has some volume. And I am not saying that. Hold on. One moment. I'm going to put my glasses on so I can actually see how I'm pulling it. Um, okay, this is like the perfect circle bun right now, but I tend to like it a little messier, so you can pin that down however you like. I don't have any bobby pins with me at the moment. Um, probably should have brought some considering this is a hair tutorial video, but you can just pull it and make it look however you want it to. So that's how that one looks. It's very cute and I like to wear this one a lot. Oh my goodness, I look like a lion. So my next look is the sloppy bun and this is, oh my gosh, mother, do you really need to be screaming now? Okay, so the next little look I'm going to do is the sloppy bun and Everybody does a sloppy bun in certain ways. This is how I just do mine. It's basically like the same thing I just did with the little twirl and then put your hair tie in. But let me just do, show you guys. I flip my hair, I grab it, and I loop it around. My hair has a lot of layers, so this can be hard sometimes. Um, sometimes it takes me like six times before it reaches the point where I think it looks good enough. Like if this works right now on the first try, I'm going to be so surprised. Wow! Wow. 
Of course, when I don't need my hair to look good, it looks good, but when I try to get my hair ready for school, it always looks bad. Relatable? Yes, this is what it looks like. You can just pull it a little bit, make it look a little messy, flop it around a little. Oh, it looks like a slinky. Okay. Well, this is what the sloppy bun looks like, and I tend to do this a lot, especially on days when I wear chokers, so the choker shows more than something that's going to be covering my neck. You could also go with the high pony, which I just bring all the hair to the top of my head, just comb it back, and then tie it off. I tend to like a very high pony, so just tie that off, and then I pull it and then give it a little volume and there's my ponytail. I just like when it has a little volume to it and I think it looks very nice that way. The last hairstyle I'm going to do is the fishtail and I wish I had a video to watch when I was trying to learn how to fishtail because it's not the easiest thing to learn when you have no idea what you're doing. But once you know how to do it, it's so easy. I think it's actually easier than the regular braid. But I will show you guys how to do that now. So I'm just going to do a side fishtail. And what you're going to do is, well, if you're doing a side fishtail, you want to bring it all to one side of your head. And like I said, I have layers. So this could be a little off. But you're going to separate your hair into two sections. And then you're going to take a little piece from the one section and you're going to bring that over and just hold it on in the other section. It doesn't matter where in the bunch of hair that you held it comes from. It can come from the front, the back. It's better to come from the back, but I'm not going to complicate this for you guys. Just take a piece and bring it over to the other section and you're going to, again, take a piece, bring it to the other section, and you're just going to do this over and over again until you get to the bottom. So we're going to take another piece, cross that over to the other section, then take another piece, cross that over to the other section, and just going to keep doing this until you get to the bottom, like I said. So I'm just going to do it real quick and speed it up for you guys. And then if you like a more messy look, you can just mess it up a bit and pull some pieces out. Do that and just keep pulling and just give it some texture and give it a little more voluminous look. You can also pull out some pieces from the side and just frame your face with that and I think this is very cute and if you have textured hair like mine and you have a lot of layers you might want to tease this a little more so it stays in the braid nice and tight because as you can see some of my layers are popping out but that's okay because I like when it looks messy but for some people who want it to look very sleek and very nice and straight and perfect you might want to either tease it or hairspray it down really 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 good and make sure you pull it really tight I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you want me to do a more fancy hair tutorial video because this is more of my go-to hairstyles that I do every day um, but sometimes I like to do something a little more fancy I can do a video for you if you want so just leave a comment down below and let me know don't forget to like subscribe and comment and I will see you guys in my next video bye